everyone, Lindsay here. I just wanted to tell you all about a little adventure that I had over the past week. I went to a screening of Aliens and Michael Bean was in attendance and did a little Q&A beforehand and then during the movie and afterwards he was uh, posing for pictures and signing autographs and I mean there was like over 700 people there and he had a conversation with every single person in line. Great dude, very friendly, very nice. I got a picture with him and got his autograph and I took some video of when he was answering questions and someone asked him about Bill Paxton and he talked a little bit about his relationship with Bill Paxton and what a great guy he was. And I was just going to post it on social media, but it's a little bit too long to post there. So I thought I would make this quick little video so that you could enjoy it in its entirety. So here's Michael Bean talking all about his friend, Bill Paxton. And will be more than he does. <laughs> now, Jim Cameron on the other side doesn't like it very much either because he spent at least the last third of Aliens, I don't want to give it away anyway, <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, but he spent the last third of his movie trying to save Newt, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So the whole movie was about saving Newt just about, and so to have her, you know, get on the right one was... I don't think Jim really appreciated that very much. And, uh, you know, I was a little angry. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Hey. Maybe, yes. I understand there's a new Terminator coming out with yeah. Arnold and Linda in it. Or... The good news about the new Terminator <laughs> is that Jim Cameron now owns the franchise. Okay? Woo! Jim Cameron directed The Terminator, and he directed Terminator 2, and then he went off to do other things, like win Academy Awards, and uh, <laughs> three, four, five, six, what, how many, I don't know what you mean, um, weren't directed by Jim Cameron. And people don't know how important that is, they just hear, oh, Terminator, uh, you know, let's go see it, you know. The last one just, you know, changed. And uh, so Jim bought the franchise back, and he, this, this has gotten so crazy. He, 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 bought, he, he bought the franchise back, he made the movie, bought Linda back, brought Arnold back, and the trailer for the movie had, is now out on, on, on YouTube. So you can see the trailer on YouTube, and what's crazy about it is they're, they've had people that do reviews of the trailers. <laughs> it's, it's a different world. The content, the amount of stuff for all of you to watch out there compared to when I was a young boy and had ABC, CBS, NBC, and a radio. Um, you know, it's just stunning to me the, the difference in, in well, it's 45 years. So. Are you in it? Uh, no, I'm not in it. <laughs> uh, let's go. Anybody in back have anything? Good? Uh, just yell it out. Yeah. How fun was it working with Bill Paxton in the evening? Uh, Bill Paxton. Yeah, give him a round of hands. Give him a round of hands. Bill Paxton and I uh, recently met uh, uh, in London, and we were doing a movie called Lords of Discipline. It was about the first black cadet. At, 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 at the Citadel, which is a military school, and uh, um, Breland, Mark Breland played the uh, black kid, and he uh, he was a boxer. He won the gold medal uh, after doing that movie in like a uh, weight class in the Olympics. And uh, but that's where I met Bill, and Bill was like, Bill would have come in. I mean, Bill Bill just comes into any room like. Hey, Michael! What's up? <laughs> hey, great to see you! What's going on? Oh, dude, I saw your last movie. You were great in it, you know? Like, yeah, that's great. Did you see mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like that, you know? And he's, but he's, he was so fun. I don't even like to talk about him in the past tense. He's, he's, he was so fun and to be around. His energy was like, like just through the roof. And he just really 
enjoyed life, enjoyed life. He seemed to be one of those guys that really could live in the moment. And um, he, he was, people always, always ask me, who's my favorite actor to work with? And I've worked with a lot of very good actors. And, uh, but he, well, we did five films together. He was my favorite guy to work with because he was so much fun off the set and he was so dedicated to what he was doing on the set. And he's one of the few actors that I saw in my career that, you know, I watched kind of come up, come up. Because he was like playing my second in command in Lords of Discipline. And I mean, he was crazy. In the movie Lords of Discipline, if you ever see it, um, you probably watch it on YouTube now for free, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's billed, billed, like in, in the bill, billing of the movie, Wild Bill Paxton. <laughs> so he was a wonderful guy, and um, I miss him. Everybody misses him. Everybody misses him.